Welcome to this stateless code video. In this video, we're going to be installing Ubuntu 2404. Uh, this is a long-term long support uh, version of the uh, Ubuntu distribution of Linux. Uh, it happens every two years. Uh, you can see 24, the year that uh, this is being recorded, and then 04, I'm recording this in May of 2024. Uh, that's the uh, April is when uh, every two years, Ubuntu will release a long-term support version of their operating system. Uh, and then on Octo October and April uh, of everything except for that um, even numbered uh, year, April, uh, they do uh, kind of um, temporary non-long-term support kind of latest version um, releases of Ubuntu. So. Um, the, I typically go with long-term support versions. I'm running and recording this video on Ubuntu 22.04 right now. Uh, we're going to be downloading this and installing it. Uh, I'm gonna show how to do it via a bootable USB drive. So we'll, we'll use Etcher, which is what's recommended in the uh, installation tutorial. Uh, this is the Ubuntu's tutorial uh, for how to install their uh, their items. Um, this is a handy thing to reference as you're going through an install. Uh, obviously, you need a second device because the device you'll be using will be occupied installing the operating system. The a couple of things to note before you kind of make your choice on which um, and download your your version here uh, if you do get Ubuntu here you can do click on download Ubuntu desktop there's also a page here about flavors and um, variations of Ubuntu you can kind of go through they have educational versions they've got lightweight versions uh, they've got versions that are designed for audio visual like Ubuntu Studio and most of the things you hear you can just install the actual uh, packages separately so like I'm running vanilla Ubuntu that's what I installed but I'm I've got OBS that I'm using to record this video um, so go and choose what's best for you I'm not certain that all of these are yet running like have a 2404 long-term support release um, officially released yet so uh, you may need to wait if you want to get on 24 for any of these other flavors and variants uh, for our purposes we're going to go to download Ubuntu desktop here and then you'll click on download LTS and that'll take you to a thank you page up um, I've already got a did a download of this offline so um, just because you don't want to watch me download a file for six gigabytes or whatever so we'll it gives you other kind of information uh, kind of solicits a donation that sort of thing so uh, what we'll do now is we will cancel this download here and what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Bellina Etcher to create a bootable USB device for this. So I've got my USB here. I'm going to insert it so that I can write to it. All right, so I've got Bellina Etcher open on the other screen. I'll drag it over here. Uh, we're going to choose flash from file. We're going to pick the 2404 ISO here. I'm going to select the USB that I just inserted. Uh, you can see it shows it says show three hidden here. Those are the system drives. So one of the benefits of uh, this program is that it kind of hides your system drives and uh, by default will only show you your uh, the, the removable media that you would typically intend to write to. So I'm going to hit select one here. 
and then I'm going to hit flash. And that's going to require item here, so it'll give me a progress bar. Uh, we will pause and let the progress bar complete um, since it's looking like six minutes or so uh, for that to get done. We'll be back once it's completed. All right, so we're done and our flash to our bootable USB device has successfully completed. If this were a real, if this is a real computer that you're trying to install to, uh, how you boot from the USB will vary by your hardware. Um, if you're running on a Mac, you'll kind of hold down the, the option key after you hear the initial chime, and then um, F12 is the most common key that you'll hit on uh, various PC um, manufacturers. So what we're going to do next is we're going to show how to set this up uh, to boot from VirtualBox, which is what we'll be recording as we try to install this. Uh, if you aren't interested in how to set this up in VirtualBox, uh, this video will have chapters. You'll skip ahead to the point where uh, we actually start the install. All right, so uh, for those interested, I'm going to set this up now on VirtualBox to um, uh, boot from the ISO and so that we can install this to a new uh, virtual box, bo virtual box, virtual box, virtual machine here. So we're going to click new. Uh, we're going to call this four, four clean. I might wind up copying the hard drive and um, d doing other setup videos after this um, and so I'll kind of use this after post install as kind of a clean image to um, branch off of for installing various other things kind of off of a fresh copy of the installed OS. Uh, for ISO image we're going to pick that 2404 ISO Linux, Ubuntu 64 bit. I'm going to skip unattended installation hardware. I'm going to, I don't know, go with eight ish gigs of RAM here. Go with two CPUs. I'm going to create a 35 gig hard drive here. The Ubuntu recommendation was for at least 25, so we'll give that 10 of buffer. I don't want to pre-allocate the full size. Uh, and then I do not want to install it there though we'll put it on my virtual box hard drives section here and we'll click finish So I've got the virtual machine ready here. I'm going to hit start. Uh, I'm going to, before I do that, minimize the browser here. Uh, because I don't have a guest editions installed on the ISO, obviously, uh, there will be probably a little bit of a mismatch in terms of screen size. So we'll just try to make do as best we can with that. So I'm going to hit start here. And get rid of this. So you have the option of try or install Ubuntu, Ubuntu Safe Graphics, and test memory. We're going to choose 
try or install Ubuntu here uh, if you were doing this on an actual uh, hardware booting from a USB this would take up your whole screen so then notifications here and it has gone on to the other screen which will probably do two or three times as I'm uh, doing this uh, I anticipate it's not going to be all that interesting waiting for this to come up so I'm going to pause and let the um, the USB boot up and then uh, resume once it's done. So we're done. The USB is booted up and everything. There wasn't any interaction needed. We're now at the choose your language screen here. I'm going to choose English. You choose the language that you are most comfortable in. We're going to hit next here. Let me just go back. I exit out of here. So uh, it also lets you try it out without installing it. So this is a um, a version of Ubuntu 2404 that is um, from the uh, bootable USB here. Uh, so you can exit out and then come back in. You can see the icon here and on the left, install Ubuntu 2404 LTS. Back to where we were. We'll hit English. It gives you some accessibility options. I don't require any, but you can feel free to explore uh, options such as high contrast, large text, um, etc. And then also options for hearing, typing, pointing and clicking, zoom, etc. Keyboard layout, I'm going to choose English US. Choose the keyboard layout that is um, the most lets you type things. So for example, I've got a Mac keyboard here. Oh, that's my host key. Don't use your host key here. So the quick round box jumps over, over. keyboard layout, at least for the letters, is behaving the way I expect it to. Hit next here. Connect to the internet. We will use a wired connection here. And we're going to choose an interactive installation. We don't have an uh, autoinstall.yaml. present here, just the Essentials Web Browser Basic Utilities. We'll go with the extended selection here. If you, um, depending on how much of a premium your hard drive space is at, you may go with default and then kind of scale things back or typically um, go with extended. I'm actually, since this is a, I'm running this on a virtual box hard drive, um, I'm going to just choose the default selection here and then we'll install additional things in subsequent um, separate videos. So I'm going to choose next here. I'm going to check both of these um, for proprietary software drivers and formats. Uh, this will let you do things like playing MB3s, um, MP4s, etc. Uh, on your system, unless you are, have some sort of scruple against uh, using one of these. 
um, or are an open source extra purist, then um, I would check them both. And you have the option here now to erase your disk and install Ubuntu. Um, you can opt for a manual installation. You go to advanced features here. Uh, you have the option to, you can use um, uh, logical volume management. You can um, encrypt your uh, your disk, uh, etc. Uh, this is not. This is going to just be like demonstrating installing stuff. So um, I don't really care about that, uh, any of that stuff. So, um, and then if you were to choose manual installation, it will let you do things like if you wanted to create different partitions on your drive, uh, things like that, uh, that would be where you'd be able to create a new partition table. You'd be able to, um, deal like set stuff up if you wanted to do a dual boot system the system i'm recording this on dual boots windows and ubuntu so um, you have a lot of options there uh, i'm going to click back here and since this is a virtual drive i'm just going to erase and install ubuntu i'm going to click next I'm going to call this Create a password here. Require my password to log in. I'm not going to use Active Directory here. You can use that if you wanted to, um, if you had like a Windows Active Directory type of thing at your um, uh, place of business and wanted to use that to single sign on or um, that sort of thing there. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click our time zone. So I'm in America, New York. If you're not in America, New York, uh, you would pick the appropriate time zone that you're in. Um, kind of click the closest to where you are and um, pick that. I'm going to click next. It gives you op an option here to review your choices. So um, this is what we've got here. Um, you can see it creates two partitions by default when you're erasing the disk and um, doing this so that you, you've kind of got your um, 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 kind of boot stuff compared to your OS and stuff like that uh, in, in separate places. So now we're going to click the install section. Uh, if you were doing this on a real hard drive, you want to make sure that you're not accidentally erasing something that you care about. Uh, I believe this is the point of no return in that regard. So you can see it has started copying files we will um, stop and kind of let this continue. Um, I'll probably actually um, leave it recording and fast forward through it. Uh, we'll figure it out. But. So we're kind of going in parallel timelines here. While the system is booting and installing, we're going to kind of time lapse that in the background. Uh, just letting you know, stateless code, we have a bunch of uh, videos that teach you not just how to install stuff, but also how to code and create. We've got hundreds of videos, um, things from uh, creating a Ruby gem, Ruby on Rails getting started, uh, some WordPress stuff. Uh, we've even got a little bit of Inkscape. Uh, don't just install stuff, but create with it. Uh, also, as we're going through this, uh, it, the icon is probably hidden by my picture in this frame, but I'm going to click it about maybe two thirds to three quarters of the way through installing this. Uh, in addition to just kind of the 
GUI of the install, uh, you can click um, an icon to see the terminal output of what's going on there. So that's what we're going to see uh, kind of up until the end of this time lapse. Um, we'll see you back when the timelines have been restored. Or will we? Yay, we have succeeded. So once you hit that install button, it was uh, kind of a set it and forget it type of deal. You can kind of kick it off, go make yourself a sandwich. It took about 24 minutes uh, on this VirtualBox virtual machine. Uh, your mileage may vary uh, and whether or not you choose the basic install or the, the larger uh, subset of stuff to install will also affect your uh, timing for all of that. Uh, so what is here on the success screen so you can continue testing, we're booted, remember, into the USB, not into the installed version of this. So uh, when you click restart now, you could continue kind of playing around on the USB version of this. Uh, you, you didn't modify anything when you on the USB when you installed this. So if you wanted to go and boot this up on a different system, keep using the same USB uh, as many times as you need to. Uh, and then if you're going to hit the restart now, um, you'll want to eject your uh, USB and then boot from your hard drive. So we'll kind of simulate that happening. I'll click restart now. It will go on to a different screen. Um, so please remove the installation medium and press enter. Uh, let's see if I can. I'm just going to press enter and then uh, when the virtual box kind of is halted, um, I will kind of remove the USB from the, um, the virtual box settings. Um, but if you were doing this with an actual PC or Mac or whatever hardware you want to install on, um, we'll hit enter here. got my machine powered off now. If I go to settings, it might just system this be All right, so it um, in this case might just, we'll see what happens when I reboot it here. Let's see if it boots from the, looks like it's booting from the VirtualBox hard drive here. keeps wanting to go on to my other monitor. Some usability concerns there, Oracle. So it took a few minutes, but it did, in our case, uh, boot from the uh, virtual, bar virtual box hard drive instead of the USB. So now I can log in with that user that I created. And 
there we are running Ubuntu 2404. The next thing I'm going to do is going to launch a terminal. Oh, we've got a welcome here. Let me so complete setup. Hit next here. We will skip upgrading to Ubuntu Pro. This is a virtual machine here. The, this is just um, ultimate, uh, ultimately your preference here. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose no, don't share system data. Um, typically, I don't especially care, but we'll just choose no. For this, we can open the App Center here, click Finish. The App Center will um, allow you the opportunity to search for and install anything from the Ubuntu App Store here. Uh, last thing we're going to do is I don't know whether it ran this Looks like it did most of the upgrading here. So, install your updates. The other thing I'm going to do is. Um, since this is a virtual uh, machine here, I'm going to kick in the um, devices here, insert guest edition CD image uh, once the, the actual Ubuntu first round of updates is completed here. Any moment. All right, so we'll exit out of the terminal. This is not a step that you would take if you are just running this uh, after your first um, boot on a, uh, an actual hardware uh, installation of Ubuntu. software and this needs some additional packages that weren't installed by default we're going to go back into the terminal Rerun the guest editions.
of course, because it's VirtualBox, it keeps pulling it onto the other window. press return to close that window. Um, we will reboot one more time. Uh, if you're dealing with a physical machine, there's really um, nothing else instructional for this. The rest of this is just um, ensuring that everything is working as intended on VirtualBox. Um, the window snapping on to the wrong monitor notwithstanding. Once I log in now, I should be able to run this. Um, in fact, I might even be able to do it in the pre-login scenario. Come on, Oracle. try full screen here and it looks like we are able to run in full screen so um, that uh, concludes what we've got um, you can now um, change your background do whatever you want to customize um, we'll go from there. We'll have separate videos for installing other various things that are um, related to Ubuntu uh, 2404. It, um, for the most part, looks roughly, um, it, it doesn't seem to be a major departure from the previous LTS 2204. Um, so we'll see um, some future videos, how to set up um, and uh, your system for developing with Ruby on Rails, how to set it up for developing with Salesforce. Um, we'll probably do um, uh, setting up for doing um, like PHP and Apache if you wanted to do WordPress um, and then any other um, set up things that come up there. We'll kind of do a whole series of how to do X on Ubuntu 2404. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, spread the word. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels, follow us at Stateless Code, and taxation is theft.